Uh, one, I don't think it's the likelihood that they're going to have the three track through our section as the preferred alternative. That's where it had, it had been left off I, well, around three years ago that it, it was almost ruled out, but they don't want to completely rule it out. But should they decide that that's their preferred alternative, would we have a very different view to engaging with the authority uh, and helping to essentially facilitate their progress mm -hmm. if that was the alternative and we had real objections to that? And I, I tend to think we probably would. Uh, that would be a huge issue in our community and um, and we'd have to re-examine our positions on all matters related and how strong of you know it basically we've we've uh, in recent years said that look we support Caltrain modernization uh, we know that they have uh, there are issues uh, on their modernization funding related to the agreement that they have with high-speed rail that's their issue we're, we're saying that we support Caltrain modernization um, uh, but if instead that whole collaboration resulted in a preferred alternative that had severe impacts on our community, I think we'd have uh, a real different and serious discussion that we'd have to have. So I'm a little hesitant as to whether we go forward with this agreement before knowing what whether the preferred alternative uh, includes that. Uh, what? So you said this fall, so we don't know uh, when this fall and when would when would we need to have uh, an agreement like this uh, sign before it would have any impact? So we're already uh, pretty far behind the schedule that uh, High Speed Rail was hoping for uh, on the reimbursement agreement. Um, they were a little bit um, anxious when they first came to us to get this executed, and we told them clearly we needed you know to think about it and consult with other communities. Um, so I think from their perspective, the sooner the better. Um, but um, we're anticipating that once council, you know, once we get the approval to negotiate, it'll take about a month to bring it back to council. Um, in regard to your point, perhaps we put some kind of clause mm -hmm. in there that allows us to terminate the agreement mm -hmm. uh, immediately if the project starts to go in a way that we don't, uh, that we no longer want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, that's something we could probably get into the agreement. Okay, uh, that would be a good alternative. Another one might be that they may not be prepared to tell us what the preferred alternative is, but they might be at a point where they've decided what it isn't and whether whether this three track in our community has been ruled out. Uh, and so maybe that's something that we can ask them pre prior to their release of the preferred alternative. Can they let us know that this is not a needn't be a concern of ours, so and they may not be willing to say that. But they, I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually at that point in their decision making. Just to cl clarify your point, though. If